gerade in Charlotte angekommen und wir wollten uns eigentlich jetzt mit Ashley vom Black Lives Matter treffen. Und sie hat uns aber gerade am Telefon gesagt, dass nördlich von Charlotte einer erschossen wurde von der Polizei. Und da fahren wir jetzt hin. Aber bevor wir euch diese Geschichte erzählen können, was ist eigentlich Black Lives Matter? Polizeigewalt gegen Schwarze hat in den USA eine lange Geschichte. Immer wieder wurden und werden Fälle bekannt, in denen Polizisten übermäßig Gewalt anwenden. Teilweise sogar mit Todesfolge. Der Vorwurf? Systematischer Rassismus. Einige Fälle aus der jüngeren Geschichte. Elton Sterling, erschossen aus nächster Nähe auf einem Parkplatz in Baton Rouge. Und Philando Castile, der wegen eines kaputten Rücklichts angehalten worden war und dessen Frau die Momente nach den tödlichen Schüssen live auf Facebook streamte. In sozialen Medien diskutieren viele Menschen über Rassismus und Polizeigewalt und gehen auf die Straße mit einer Botschaft. Black Lives Matter. Zurück in einer kleinen Stadt in der Nähe von Charlotte. Wir treffen Ashley und möchten wissen, was ist hier passiert? I heard that or I read that um, the uh, police were serving a warrant um, and it was what they call a no knock warrant so they don't have to knock on the door they can just barge in um, and the folks down the street said that everyone in the house was sleeping um, and what happened after that the only thing that we know is that the police killed um, one of the black men who was inside. We read that um, the victim shot at the police. Do you know anything about that? No, I can't confirm or deny that. Um, and usually what we see, especially during the like soon hours after things like this happen, the police try to push narratives that people shot at them, which usually isn't true. So I don't really believe that at all. So what do you think happened, really? I think the police killed a black person. And I think they did it on purpose. Die Polizei als Mörder. Heftige Aussage. Kann man als Schwarzer also keinem Polizisten mehr trauen? Oder haben sich hier vielleicht auch gegenüber der Polizei Vorurteile gebildet? Uh, no, not at all. Yeah, the cops just kill black people here. So, I would say that they're the ones with the prejudice. 7. Juli 2016, Dallas. Schüsse auf Polizisten am Rande einer friedlichen Black Lives Matter Demo. Fünf von den Polizisten sterben, weitere Menschen werden verletzt. Das angebliche Motiv des mutmaßlichen 25-jährigen schwarzen Täters? Rache für Polizeigewalt an Schwarzen. Schnell werden Vorwürfe gegen Black Lives Matter laut. Der Vater eines Opfers verklagt sogar die Bewegung und beschuldigt sie der Mittäterschaft. Black Lives Matter selbst distanziert sich von jeglicher Gewalt und positioniert sich bei darauffolgenden Demos auch gegen die Schüsse in Dallas. Wir sind weiße Europäer. Und was wissen wir da schon über das Leben eines Schwarzen hier im Süden von Amerika, wo immer wieder vor allem schwarze Männer Opfer von Polizeigewalt werden? In Charlotte treffen wir Ray. Er ist Teil der Mittelschicht, Pastor und Unterstützer der Black Lives Matter Bewegung. Could you describe what it is like to live uh, in Charlotte as a black person? You know, there are times where, you know, I'm driving in my car and there's, um, you know, a cop behind me and it's, it's not the same dread like, oh gosh, am I doing something wrong? It's like, I mean, it's, it's fear. I mean, it's a, an undeniable fear that I'm going to do something wrong um, by their standard. Do you think it's mutual understanding that's lacking sometimes? I don't know if it's mutual understanding as much as mutual respect, right? Um, I don't think you necessarily have to understand if you respect. We're people, right? Like, it's like, yo, can we start there and see that we're people and not just, you know, the enemy? What would you wish to change in society? I always tell this story now because I think it's a fascinating story. So. At the last church where I was, uh, one of the staff members who've become one of my really good friends, we first started working together, we didn't like each other at all. Um, we're so different. I'm a uh, liberal uh, Democrat. Um, he's a conservative um, Republican. And we just didn't agree on a lot. There was a latest shooting before Keith Lamont Scott was a big guy like me. And I remember I wrote on Facebook like, Alton Sterling could have been me, could have been my kids or something like that. Um, and, and my friend Bert called me up and I was like, oh, I don't know if I can, if I have the energy to have this argument or discussion where I'm having the black explain, you know, but because we've been, we're, we've become such good friends, I just agreed to meet and we, I went over to his house and, and I was just prepared for the, you know, the questions and uh, he just said, Ray, I just want to know how you're feeling. I know this has affected you. No questions. No. And he, with tears in his eyes, he said, I just can't imagine the thought of, you know, 
the boys or you guys. I just, you know, can't imagine. I just want you to know I love you. That was an incredible experience. So if I could change anything in society, it would be us knowing that we're in this together. I am because you are. Thank you.